It's a multi-billion dollar agreement for advanced micro devices that its biggest chip making competition might crash. But as Curtis Schick reports, issues with Intel don't have company and county leaders control all deleting the deal. Construction crews put down pavement and smooth out roads. This intersection leading into the Luther Forest Tech Park and eventually factories producing AMD computer chips. And after many twists and turns, we finally got here. But the multi-billion dollar plans road that was seemingly so straight earlier this week has taken a turn. AMD and its chief competitor Intel have a 30-year-old agreement that bars transferring tech secrets to a third company. It enabled AMD to produce microprocessors that were initially designed upon Intel's initial design. Abu Dhabi-based Advanced Technology Investment Company is backing AMD's manufacturing spin-off, The Foundry Company. Foundry is building the Luther Forest plant, and Intel says that could violate the agreement. There's this issue uh, that, that Intel has raised. Again, we feel very strongly. We looked at it very closely. It's a non-issue. Smaller construction projects like roads and infrastructure are already underway in Luther Forest. As for the big construction project, while well, county leaders say they aren't worried about the issues with Intel. And AMD has already studied this issue. They've had their attorneys look at it. You've got to remember, Intel is the major competitor of AMD. Dalton says he doesn't expect delays getting factories up and running. And Tisdale says federal approval doing just that because of money backing the project coming from overseas should happen by early next year. In Saratoga County, Curtis Schick, Capital News 9. AMD says they'll be ready to begin operations in 2012, but a big question that remains, who will be staffing the $4.5 billion operation? The University of Albany is getting a jump on that answer by hosting a nanotech career fair aimed at middle school kids. The university is hoping to hook kids on high-tech jobs early on. 300 kids from all over the state got together to explore different career fields in the nanotech industry. The National Science Foundation estimates by the year 2014, there will be a need for more than 2 million nanotech savvy workers. New Albany hopes many of those jobs will be here. We want to keep them here in New York State. This is a great place um, to be. And, you know, it's great that New York State's investing in this to keep people here so people can stay close to their families, enjoy, you know, all the great things that upstate New York um, has to offer. And now that AMD has committed to the area, that's at least another, another 1,400 jobs in the nanotech field right here in our own backyard.